You will win poker all the rest of the trip. <laughs> now there's a prospect of a thrilling time ahead for you. <laughs> You're never bitter, deceptive, or petty. Freedom, happiness, happiness always accompanies you. The night life is for you. You are gifted in many ways. In bed. <laughs> right now we're in the Fijian Islands. Uh, we're exploring a new sort of territory that hasn't it's kind of bit been untouched. Uh, the boat we're on is it's a 180 foot yacht. It's got 33 rooms. We've all got our own rooms and everything. It's amazing. Um, and on top of that, we've with all of my mates, and uh, it's it's amazing. You go know, fishing, surfing, snorkeling. Yeah, it's probably one of the most best trips I've ever been on for sure. By the end of this trip, and it's going to be a lot to talk about. Exciting. I'm not going to want to get off the boat, but going and checking out the villages and stuff and their traditions, I'm, I'm right into that. It should be fun. I think we're one out of ten boats that have, that have been here so far. <laughs> We've just been blessed to come to this incredible place with perfect waves. And I don't know how it gets better than this, you know? At 18, that's, that's kind of heavy to think that I don't know how it's going to get better than this. No digging rail on this trip. I travel a lot of the year with Jamie, He's doing the QS, so I get to see him surf all kinds of waves. And he is pretty progressive. He likes to try and link weird combinations together too. I think he's going to do good in the future for sure. Bo Emerton is just a solid block of brick. He paddles out and just rips the wave to pieces. Went off on Australian Day, looked like the Australian boxer and just smoked everyone in gambling, took everyone out. Rad guy. Alex Gray. Um, met him maybe a couple months ago. I never really saw him surf until his trip. He's been surfing well too. But guaranteed one of the better kids from California right now. Ben Dunn, um, one of the best young Australian surfers. Real loose, super uh, quiet, you know, real, real quiet. But once he gets out in the water, you know, he takes all of the this quiet that he's been holding in and just blows up. Ian Walsh charges big waves, surfs little waves, great. 
has a great attitude, a good outlook on life, and just blowing up. Five buys, a great idea. Five surfers go out, surf for an hour and a half. We all surf together, throw five dollars in a hat. You just film every wave that surfed and then judge it. We judge each other on push, torque, mojo, boost, and combo. And then we see who wins the pot with the most of those five. It's really relaxed, you know, and you're out there just pretty much out there having fun with your mates. And uh, it's great, you know, doing what I've come from, from the stressful, competitive thing. Five buys is totally different. You know, thing that we've got going, and it's really fun and relaxed. But, but at the same time, you're out there trying to, you know, push yourself and get a few new things going, and but still out there smiling. Yeah, they've got to have respect for their elders. That's what's showing me every single good way. Are you all here? Well, the five of us going out surfing at once, it's, it's pretty cool, you know? It's just like you're going out surfing with your friends and enjoying it, and then at the same time, you kind of got this little, gosh, I gotta try and do something out here. We're, we're trying to push each other's limits, and so it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's super fun. Just film every wave that surfed and then judge it. All five surfers judge each other later. And uh, Mojo is the best barrel. That explains itself. Push is the most innovative move. You don't have to make it. It's just pretty much who's throwing it down to try to get the most progressive move. Combo is the best couple of turns, or an air to a barrel to a floater, just whoever links everything together real nice. And the torque is the best turn, it could be the most powerful turn, it could be the most stylish turn. Boost is the biggest air, biggest air of the session. Whoever does it wins the boost area. Everyone pretty much here can do everything that's on that sheet, so no one's really pinpointing for one thing. It's all, it just depends on the wave situation to what the guys are going to try and do. Classic having us four young guys in the water with, you know, Bo Emerton, the legend himself. Um, you know, Bo is, I wouldn't say old school, but we're, we're part of a newer era, I guess. I guess it's brought, sort of brought up in that era where, you know, power surfing was an in thing. an introduction for the kids out on the street, saying, would a brother do be enough to drop some...
He's been around for a long time. He's seen a lot of the progression in surfing. So it's nice to be able to see what we could do in his power surfing. Yeah, kind of mix it all together. I don't know why what they're doing these days, these young guys. So definitely learn from them. There's a lot there to be learned. And, you know, my mission on this trip was to do an aerial. So I don't think I've done one for about 10 years. It's really funny watching Bo actually. You're paddling out and you, you see Bo and he looks all off balance when he drops in. And you're like, oh. Next thing you know, he just puts it on rail and he just hits the lip so hard. And you're just like, oh, Bo is just still ripping. The one thing that never changes is that there are there's these crazy flips and airs and whatnot, but to me it's the simple perfection surfing that counts. There's things that will never change, like a good hard turn on the rail will never, never go out of style, I think. A good barrel, no one ever gets tired of that. Riding has changed though, because back in the day it used to be that if you were frontside on the barrel, it seemed like you had an advantage. But today, guys like Andy, Bruce, Mick, they've created this sort of butt stall where backside you really get to sort of force your stall and play around with it and really get in the position that you like to. I don't know, I, I like to call it like a little leg drag. It's, it's more of your leg than your ass. If you get it down to the fine art of backside, and ret, backside tube riding, it is. It's a lot better than a lot of ways you could ride a barrel. You know, there's a lot more to it. You could do a lot of things with it. And it's, you know, it's, it's definitely come a long way in the last five to 10 years. It's quite a trip, you know, because now their hand is more of a feeler. You know, when you get in those positions where you, you don't really know where you are in the barrel, you can put your hand on the wall or whatever and, and feel your way through the barrel. That's probably one of the best parts of getting barrel too, is just the, the feeling of, of the wave. Before I used to drag my ass, I'm like, God, that's how it's done. It throws too much spread. The dragging the leg kind of just, you drag your leg and it's, it's like gradually slowing you down instead of just one boom, you know, it, it looks a lot smoother when you just drag your leg and then it's a real easy transition to stand up, let go. I mean, there's so much different ways. You can go switch stance from there, you can go parallel stance. You can sit down if you want. To me, a tube ride is what you live for as a surfer. It's just, it's a, it's a full head rush, you know? You're, you're just so high afterwards. You come out and try and do a turn and you can't because you're so stoked on the barrel you just got. You threw a star, now that it's all right. To pick that horse from the fence ride. You say the best of the city. So come on, baby, go and go and walk up on my day. I was actually talking to Ian the other day, and I was like, I was, t I, I was pretty much telling everyone, like, God, I gotta figure out my backside snap, you know? I sit there and watch it on video, and I still can't even do it. But So I've been watching Andy a little bit, and what he does is just gets paddling, and he puts his hands on his rail, and he just waits. He doesn't go down the face of the wave and do check turns. He, he waits at the top, holding on to his board, just about to get up, and then he gets up, and he just goes, whoom, right into the backside snap tail slide. And it's pretty, it's pretty interesting, you know? I, I tried it a few times, and it almost worked. I've definitely noticed that too. I think you just gotta be on your toes to know what the way is gonna do. And the earlier you are, the crisper the turn's gonna look. Because if you like hit it late in the lip, you could get stuck. It could look good, but if you got that nice timing and rhythm, you're gonna every way is gonna look good. You know, the, the top professionals these days, uh, they're in between math, between the moves, between the car to a bottom turn. It's so flawless. They just, they keep their edge the whole time and never lose speed. And I think that's an incredible tool, you know, because you need speed for everything. It 
seems like every decade surfing changes and it just gets more progressive and more progressive. There's still that fine line of, you know, these guys lay down incredible carves and really nice bottom turns and that's simplistic surfing. How's that current? Bad luck. <laughs> Here, take your heat. Now then. Here. <laughs> yeah, one. one. I think the uh, the greatest asset of a five bike competition is that you get to have a replay of every wave that went down. It's great to be able to watch the footage and see what the guys did on every wave. Like you said, just looking from the back of the wave in a heat in a contest is kind of, you don't really know what happened, you don't know how you're going to better it. So watching it on footage is going to help to push surfing a lot, I think. There it is. Dive, first wave. First wave, first wave. There it is. First wave is the one that counts. Watch this one, guys. Six seconds. Oh, Joe. Very first wave. Oh. You should have just came in after that. My five by broke down with Bo on his first wave, just right off the bat. Got a super long, deep barrel, and his board was just twitching inside it the whole time and crept out right at the end. Ian throwing together a couple of nice combos. Jamie's just probably one of the op most open minded surfers ever, and it seems like he thrives off of progression. Boost also, there was no airs done in that heat. The conditions were more of a barreling wave and not really many sections to boost, so that was also no one scored that. Oh, just still ripping. He was surfing good and he's getting some nice barrels and coming out and doing big hacks, you know, and like it was just, he was just pushing us all. Winner of the second annual five by, we're gonna have to name it uh, Bo Emerton. Congratulations! I've won a contest in about 12 years, so I'll do a pleasure. See you on last time. <laughs> no, it's great. Let's have more fun, less gamble. I think my mum will go. <laughs> <laughs> To be able to, to hoot your idols into a wave, that's the greatest thing ever. The reason I started surfing is because it's really, really fun. I mean, I've been doing it since I was eight, and uh, it's still as fun as the first day I've done it, you know. Just every wave is different. The surprise factor is a big part of it. It just makes it so much more enjoyable.
Here we are on the, on the Red Bull trip to Forbidden Islands in Fiji. We're on a 180 foot cruise boat, 33 cabins. Everyone has their own room. Uh, we're searching to find these waves that we've, we've heard about that only 10 other boats have been able to explore. It seems like it's Hawaii like 200 years ago. It's just insane, you know. People are just have so much aloha over here and it's just, it's crazy, you know. Yeah, everyone's just pretty much just relaxing and just having a good time and um, playing a lot of poker. I had to quit playing poker. <laughs> Got a little bit too frustrating. But uh, it's been fun, it's been cool. It's a real mellow crew. Everyone's really just gets along with everyone. Yeah, it's been a good time. So now I see and now I feel and now Going away with the pros and world champion and all that, it's just it's really good to be around. Like I haven't spent any time with any of these guys before and surf with them really pushes us and gets us to do new things and stuff. So yeah, it's really good. The overall breakdown of a 5x is there's five surfers, you put in five chips per person and you're out for 90 minutes. Yeah, and then you come back in and, and uh, you watch the edited version of the video, uh, lasts about probably half an hour and everybody judges each other. I'm not going to get sunburned today. <laughs> Lucky number five. Normally you don't really see what the other guys are doing or anything, but when you got this sort of format you can just sit down and watch. and. And actually, the footage might make it a little better, so. Seeing Ben Dunn surf, I haven't surfed with him very much, and uh, the kids surf really well. I surfed with Jamie a bunch, and just seeing him mature, it's pretty impressive, and uh, it's always fun to watch him there. I was stoked that when, they, when they're when they reading off the names for the first 5 by heat, they're all like, Andy, Mick, Ben, I'm like, oh, what can I eat? Jamie, I was like, oh, cool, stoked. And Alex, I'm like, oh, Alex must be way more stoked than me.
Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a couple waves. It's a um, interesting reef bass. It's not even a reef bass. It's just like a little reef stick out out there. It's kind of cool. Fun little waves, like a little point break almost. So fun. Andy, Jamie, Ben, Mick are getting sick ones. It's fun. It's rad to be in a heat for an hour and a half, you know? You really get to just take your time and pick off the waves you really want. It's just like free saving. I wasn't even really thinking about what to do. I just wanted to catch extra waves. So. Yeah, it's, it's all good, you know? It's, it's fun money. Oh, sick. Pretty much dominated. I don't know how these guys felt, but I yeah, did really well. What do you reckon I dominated? Definitely dominated, for sure. Oh, five of us for 90 minutes was kick back. We're just cruising, having a good time. Bye bye. Uh, five things. One of them's boosting, so get your air time. You can do the most airs or the you know, variety of airs. There's torque, which is how hard you turn, the type of turn you do, or what part of the wave you do your turn. And then there's the combo, a bunch of things on one wave. You get a barrel, do a floater, and an air on the turbo. And then there's mojo, which is overall best session. You just have a well-rounded session, you do a bunch of good stuff, and then you get barrels. And it's a push, which is innovate. Uh, create whatever you want to do with it. This five by thing is really good because you don't feel any pressure. Like there's no, it doesn't even, it doesn't feel like a contest. It's just like you're out there free surfing with your friends and taking turns and catching waves. There's no hassling or anything. It's pretty good. Everyone goes walking out my my door with my DVD. Got it? Yeah. Sweet. 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 come on a remote place that no one's ever surfed and, and run a contest was pretty interesting because I had no idea what the wave was like or what it was going to do. It's pretty wild, I know. It seems like a full uh, surf destination kind of a spot. It was pretty wild, I said no one surfed before. I mean, it's a really good wave. You, know, you can sit really deep, sit away from everybody. If everybody was up for their wave, you just go sit deep and wait for a different wave, you know, that would break in a different spot. Oh, he's on the head. That's a lot. I was on that oh. Oh. Oh, 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 to find an unexplored wave, surf it with the best surfers in the world, and have a great time. And that's exactly what went down during the 90 minutes of the five by. Not to, put it to, to be out in the water with Andy, Mick, Jamie, and Ben is an all-star cast. You know, it's like it's like playing a surf video game or something. But it's so cool to paddle back out and go, "How was your last one?" You know, or they'll be, they'll be going, "Oh, go, 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 be, go, Andy, go!" And it's just it's a contest, but at the same time, you just you're sharing ways with the best surfers in the world, and there's no way you can have a bad vibe because there's too much good going on. <laughs> Even though there was a five by going on, I knew it was just low, you know, it's, there's no stress. And uh, even in my heat, I didn't really, I mean, I was just watching those guys surf. It didn't feel like a contest at all or anything. It just felt like just a free surf and there's Andy and Mick and Jamie and that, so it's a pretty good surf with them guys. Yeah, surfing with Andy's always good. 
the level of surfing is so high that you know without you thinking about it you start doing maneuvers and push it harder than you probably normally would because of what's what these guys are doing oh wow oh yeah oh is that another you're just comboing us i think that's pretty sick you know if anything if, if you don't win the event you definitely have a great learning experience you know I, I catch a wave and just sit there in the channel and watch Andy go by and just watch him hack a big turn and then straight into a tube and then Mick come down and just fastest turn I've ever seen and you can just sit there and you're in a contest but at the same time it was like I was learning too. You know, there wasn't that, oh I want to see you fall right now or don't make it, don't make it. Like, oh that was gnarly, do that again. <laughs> great to come back in and sit down, watch the footage, joke around, throw some scores down and put a big chain and a medallion around the winner at the end. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. see what the young guys do and the old guys do and so they just take it all and just mix it all together um, and just, I think everyone's just pushing each other you know. Watching the young kids gets me motivated completely I mean watching them the approach way is different with uh you know they really they got flair they all got their you know new approaches and way to hit the lip or you know kick their tail out or the way they do floaters or just the way they go down the line even I mean it's, it's pretty cool to see just uh all the new styles and the new approaches. I guess I will learn a fair bit from them just watching the surf and just seeing what they do and like how they act around like on the boat and everything, like their attitude and stuff. Just watching them surf will just push me to try new things and surf better. So it's just, it always helps surfing with guys like that. So it's good. great to hang out with Ben because we're around the same age and we're kind of around the same path and he's already done so well for his career and you know, his surfing is incredible. Definitely world champs where I want to be one day. I just want to make the CT first. Well, I've got I'm going to try the next three years to make it and then see what happens but definitely world champ along the line. One of my goals was to win a Pipe Masters and won the Pipe Masters, so definitely my next goal is to make the CT and then figure out what my next goal is from there, which is only obvious. The challenge is great. I mean, it's, it's, it's good to go surf against the best surfers in the world, and when you make the heat or you win the contest, it's, you know, it's the best feeling in the world for me. I love it. Yeah, it wouldn't change for anything. It's that competitive drive that keeps me wanting to be better and better and try and become, you know, an Andy, Bruce, or Mick. And I surf in so many cons, it's kind of weird. Yeah, when I get in free, <laughs> I'm in a free surf and I'm at a beach break and I get a couple good snaps, I'm like, oh, I could have been Nate right there. I think it just keeps you fresh, you know, it keeps you in that mindset of um, knowing how you're surfing or what it feels like.
and when we get to the top and have that crown, you know, um, that's that's why I train. So I'm an artist. What do you mean? <laughs> I need those chips. <laughs> I'm out. I guess the main goal I'm striving for is to win that world title and um, yeah, take out Andy. Those waves are actually pretty good for air. The wind was right in the face, and Jamie has some sick air. Sick air. Push mojo or boost one wave. Bye-bye, it's finished. Well, you'll never guess. Go to you! Go to you! Everyone's getting barreled too much to do a cutback or snap. And Jamie was trying, you know, he's doing airs and ollie oops and uh, mixing it up, which he always does anyway. So I think the format just suited his, uh, suited his surfing really well. Here, sweetheart. Change the whip. Oh, I'm gonna wear this thing. Change the whip. <laughs> 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 One by a mile. Jamie just pulled it all off and seemed to fit every category in. So yeah, he was he was the well-rounded surfer of the of the heat. Speech, speech, <laughs> your speech is ready. Nah, I don't know. It's pretty fun. It's kind of cool to come down here. I don't know. It's cool to come down here with Andy and Fanning and all the boys. Whatever. I mean, it's fun to hang out. You know. Their, their surfing pushes our surfing, so I mean, it's, it's just a good trip to come on here. It seemed like everybody was just out there surfing, doing their thing, and I just got a couple lucky waves and, you know, beat them. I, I don't know, I wouldn't say beat them because it wasn't really a contest to us, you know, we are just out there having fun, and it turned out that I won. It was cool at the end of the day, you know, to have a little Red Bull 5x trophy. I could be like, yeah, that's from the Red Bull 5x in Fiji. Let's play some poker. <laughs> The seconds up with us here, ho, slapping that ass with the FYS, J-Dub, you know I run the clip, G, better gas it before I come to you and blast the cap it rash, J-Dub, you know I run to you, Darryl, you can run, but you can't hide, we can multiply, I'm gonna go to the naked eyes, we can look inside the mind, we can look at the we can change the fact that you never side to you, Darryl, you can run, but you can't hide, we can multiply, I'm gonna go to the naked eyes, we can look inside the mind, you can look we can change the fact that you never side to you, Darryl. Oh, five of us out there for 90 minutes, kick back, we're just cruising, having a good time. It's pretty cool, you know, it's just like you're going out, surfing with your friends and enjoying it. The five guys, a great idea. Five surfers go out, surf for an hour and a half. We all surf together, throw five dollars in a hat. We just film every wave that's surfed and then judge it. You have five different categories for your judging. Torque is uh, your best turn. And then there's a combo, a bunch of things on one way. You get a barrel, do a floater, and an air on the turbo. And then there's Mojo, which is the overall best session. Just have a well-rounded session, you do a bunch of good stuff, you know, get barrel. Boost, which is your best air. Push is the most innovative move. You don't have to make it. It's just pretty much who's throwing it down to try to get the most progressive move. Really relaxed, you know, and you're out there just 
you're pretty much out there having fun with your mates, but at the same time you're out there trying to, you know, push yourself and get a few new things going, and but still out there smiling. level of surfing is so high that, you know, without you thinking about it, you start doing maneuvers and push it harder than you probably normally would. Had a show in Orlando, ill sandals, ill vandals, manipulating real scandals. Million dollar jack flow like a hollerback. White collar crack trees from a scholar sack. Sets live, wreck the range, cop the S5. While the rest drive, he lays down fresh drive. Stones and gems, average cast on Tim's. Leave a blown rims, hospital to long limbs. Critical peers, involved with political lives. Pitiful sins, my niggas doing pitiful biz. Too much info, too close to touch him, no. Fly pin flow, dropped off a high tempo. We the baddest now, knowing that his status foul. He had a style like he milking off the fattest cow. Keys for ways, my niggas had G's for days. Trees for plays, gathering up seeds for haze. Charging them teams like damn fouls Expand clout, the larger the scheme, it pans out We sit backs, hip connects after shipwrecks Who you tip next, we sit around and flip checks You only can, no need for you to show me in No phony wins, swinging back like Tony Gwynn What's the gun in your vest, running your rest Come in your net, sun in your best Hits one in your chest, laying in the specs Playing in the decks, weighing in the threats Praying
man in the sweat, stand in the jets. Hair flattened, plant pack, your man's ratty. Land scattered, clan shaped like Manhattan. Switch hands and pitch grands for the mix fans to hit scrams. Quick sense for your stitch plans. Keep diving, we drive till I see five. I still live. Now toss some rocks into a beehive. Scene right now. GS, big couch, big house on the hill, big leather, trendy GS. dresses for broke girls for real. We paid a big oh, I rent. love this stuff. GS this is great. <laughs> what is your most embarrassing moment? Oh, God, I'm not going there. Kiss or cuddle? Uh, I'll go for a good cuddle, you know, before we go to sleep. It's like a big teddy bear. Oh, my chick's tiny, so she's a little teddy bear. So I'll go, I'll go with the cuddle. Action films or documentaries? I go action. I like to be entertained. Documentaries are actually are pretty good. You know, I like a good conspiracy theory once in a while, but I'll go with the action. Just sit back and uh, eye candy. If you had to eat only one style of food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Egg Thai, Japanese, Italian. Japanese for sure. I love sushi. So sashimi, sushi rolls, I definitely go that all year. I'm higher than you. And it's not because I smoke that I'm higher than you. It's because the competition is a joke that I'm higher than you. And I'm hiring you and firing you. Uh -huh. And hopefully inspiring you. Uh -huh. But I'm above you, so I don't love you. Figure, I'm higher than you. I'm higher than you, so how could I be sorry? I was away for two weeks on African safari. Time well spent sleeping in tent. Candy or fruit? I like candy. I like Snickers, <laughs> butter, ah, oh, Reese's. I'll take Reese's over any fruit, okay. even in the morning. Well, it's the same old thing, but at least I got to see how stupid she looks when she sings. Then I had sex with two of spiders from Britain. Back massage or banana massage? <laughs> banana massage, Avi. What do you choose if you could only have one? Love, money, or fame? And why? Love, for sure. Money and fame. It just goes away eventually. Love's eternal. I'm a hippie.
Mm, yeah, hello. Yeah. First question. Mm, what is the worst thing you would do or have done for money? Ah, the worst thing I've done for money. Yeah. Mm, of course, yes. I guess sometimes you do anything for money, but uh, I've done quite a few. You know, when I've been away with the boys, a few nude streaks down the beach or something. And then come back for and get your get your coin and straight back to the pub, you know, to have a few beers. Uh, what would you choose? To be a rock star or the WCT champ and why? It's been hours on it, been hours on it. Whoa, that's a tough one. You don't think so. I think I'd go to Rockstar. It's so impossible. You know, I'd go to a lot of rock concerts and sit up there and just go on and on and be one of those guys. They they look like they have a damn lot of fun and uh, just a, lots of parties, lots of women and lots of fun. So rock star for me, because you can still go surfing afterwards and the next day. Tell us about the first time you kissed a girl. Didn't like it, it was no fun. Kissing a girl I didn't really like, but uh, things have changed. <laughs> uh, kiss or cuddle? I'm a big fan of cuddling. Yeah, don't mind a good old cuddle. Cuddling's good. <laughs> Back massage or banana massage? Banana massage, it's easy. Thank you very much. These questions are great. <laughs> you wake up as a girl, what is the first thing you would do? <laughs> I've always said I'd like to come back as a girl because uh, I'd, be, I'd be pretty bad. I think I'd be a bit of a slut. Be straight down the pub to get all the boys. <laughs> I don't know if we can put that on Ted Telly, but anyway. <laughs> Who is your best friend and why? My best friend's my family, really. Um, I'm really close to my family, my brothers, my sister, and my parents. So I can't just name one there. Uh, I just respect them so much, and I think in these days it's great to have, you know, family. There's a lot of unfortunate people out there who don't or have split families. So yeah, just my own family is my best friend. Burger or stir fry? I actually don't eat veggies or meat. I mean, I don't eat any vegetables or any salad. So it's definitely a burger. Thank you very much. Snowboard or ski? Um, I skied when I was like in year nine, and that was pretty fun. And then I went snowboarding, and, and then went back the year later and broke my wrist. So I haven't really been snowboarding much, but I like that better. I want to go again, definitely. Wherever you go, it takes a little more, but you've been there before. Skate or die. <laughs> um, the last time I skated, I broke my wrist, so I don't like skating. What is one thing you don't like about yourself? Um, I sleep talk and sleep walk a lot. I don't want to get rid of that, so it's pretty annoying sometimes, especially when you're away with other people. Manicure or nail biting? Oh, I bite my nails a lot, so if you woke up as a <laughs> if you woke up as a girl, what is the first thing you would do? <laughs> No idea. <laughs> Check myself out or something, I don't know. Yeah. If you had 
had to choose one animal as the only meat you could eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? <laughs> Definitely chicken. I love chicken. <laughs> Chicken's amazing. Kiss or cuddle? Um, I don't know, I like cuddling. <laughs> So good. <laughs>
I'd give my life for him and he'd give his for me, no question. This is what's happening here. We got 40 random questions. I'm gonna pull one out. Out of 10, I'm gonna pick and I'm gonna hand it on to the rest of the guys. Danke schön, Ilse. Danke schön, Ilse. Danke schön, Ilse. And hello to everybody. Snowboard or ski? I'm gonna get off right away. Wait, 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 wait. I was taught when I first went to the mountains that skiers are kooks. Kind of like boogie boarders are kooks. Anyways, most of them. Describe my best single wave. It was a big set, and I was like, gosh, I gotta try and get this set. Whip, I start paddling, I paddle, paddle, and the next thing I see Mike Stewart just go whoosh, right by me so quick. I'm all, whoa. And next thing you know, Mike's in the barrel, and I'm in the barrel, and I'm like standing back looking at Mike, and I was like, it's the best feeling ever. And I was looking, I was like, whoa, and the thing's barreling, and then I see Mike look back, he's just looked back at me, and I was like, whoa, I was checking out Mike in the barrel. I was like, oh, this is too weird, you know? And I was thinking, oh shit, I better not run him over, you know? Next thing you know, the thing just spit so hard, I grab the rail, and I go, I feel my arm like brush Mike's shoulder. Like, whoa, fly by Mike and about I come out. And like a couple seconds later, Mike pops out of the spit. I'm like, wow, that was pretty insane to ride a 10 foot wave at pipe and get a double barrel with a legendary Mike Stewart. So it's pretty cool. What is the best advice I've ever gotten? I don't know. I'd say just stay away from love. Because girls can mess you up. Right away. You could have fun, hang out with girls, just try not to fall in love. And if you do, best wishes to you. And the other one is stay away from drugs, you know? And they say chicks are like drugs. It's two things that stay away from, but you can still have fun and hang out, you know? Just watch yourself. Black or white? That's a weird question. If you woke up as a girl, what would be the first thing you'd do? Um, gosh, and nobody knew? I don't know what I'd do. I'd just freak out for a few days. Probably just grab my surfboard and go see if I could surf the same. <laughs> Everybody do these yet? Candy or fruit? If you eat candy for your whole life, you probably freaking have no teeth left. Walk around, like, I don't know. If you eat fruit, it's, it's healthy, it's good for you. I don't know, tastes good, I like it. I'm gonna go pass this hat on to the rest of the boys on this boat and see what they're gonna get up to. Question number one is take away our home cooking. Um, I prefer to cook at home, but when you get lazy, it's always good to have takeaway. Okay, number two is hip hop or rock. I'd go rock for sure. your most embarrassing moment. I think every time I get on the piss I embarrass myself. Um, but you know, each of their own. <laughs> Tell us about the first time you kissed a girl. Um, I think I was in, in kindergarten. I don't think I knew what I was doing, I just went up and kissed her. <laughs> It's just one of those things. Girl, kiss, awesome. 
Any tattoos, piercing, identifying marks, scars, show us now and tell us a story. Okay, I've got two tattoos here. This one, Sean's my brother, passed away. It's my family coat of arms. And I've got a big scar on my ass from where I got surgery. Um, next. Kiss or cuddle? Um, I'll probably have to take kiss. I get a little bit claustrophobic if I get cuddled too many times. Yeah, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm a sucker for the Joe Public too. Kiss a girl anywhere. Bo Eminen or Pamela Anderson? Um, I'd have to say Pamela Anderson. Paul names Michael Eugene Fanning. Um, I'm 23 years of age and sexual. <laughs> Just sexual? Yeah. Not bad. So I know you're a bit of a ladies man. Yeah, um, right. You know, you consider you got the best rig on tour or that's what you tell me all the time. Yeah. Well, now that I'm off tour anyway. Yeah, um, No women on the boat for two weeks. How are you coping with that? Um, yeah, well, I'm sort of, you know, playing with myself. <laughs> <laughs> right, we all do that. Yeah. Come <laughs> Unreal. Well, all the best for this year, mate. Hope Thanks you have a big fun. one in and out of the water. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kisses are cuddles. Kisses. Tell us one thing that is good about yourself. What's good about me? Jeez. I don't know. I don't know. Back massage or banana massage? I think back massage for now. Take away our home cooking? What's that mean? Oh, home cooking. Sure. My girlfriend cooks me a lot. A barbecue. Would you choose to be a rock star or the WCT champ and why? Um, rock star would be real fun. But real unhealthy. Probably end up dying. CT champ would be good because you live on an island and that's the sport you do. If you had to eat only one style of food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Egg, Thai, Japanese, or Italian? I'd probably go Japanese. I call all that raw food and healthier. Small wave fun, so either longboard or fish. Longboard, no, fish. Fish. So call party over there, but I don't care, cause lifestyle magazine readership don't believe in shit, they need leadership. So much is cheesy, and that's for cheesy, but with melodies like these. Tell us about the first time you kissed a girl. Uh, I was like fifth or sixth grade behind the school. <laughs> Yeah, okay. CDs or MP3s? iPod. No more CDs. Scratches. Hip hop or rock? Probably rock.
Mm, yes, hello. Yes. Mm, of course, yes. Big it up, big it up. And a biggie, big up to all you um, ballers and short corners who have stepped up. Now, don't be falling off or anything like that. And borrow me your ears, please. For this is London's downest rapper music radio station. Now, this big man behind the microphone doing all this spitting is me, the juggernaut. I'm feeling happy and gay tonight, and I'm getting down and dirty. Yes, I, I want to I want to slap my bitches and pimp my hoes and sip my 40. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? While well, I'm going to be uh, puff-puffing on this big old blunt thing. Now, I give you all an extremely aggressive shouty shout-out. And to all my homies and fellow gangster bangers, yo, what's up? So, all you uh, doggy dogs, snoopers and players out there getting a vibe, if you're not, you must be one of those scrub people. Stop popping caps and feel the love, because um, we have the realest hippity hop sounds for your asses. and with a final word, I say, word up to your mummies, I just got done tapping her ass. <laughs> Good, that was very nice. Now, I'm done typing your ass, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna spin for you the next super new dizzy jam from Mr. Diglicious and the Mars Tribe. So, mosh away, bust a move, get down, get down, and dirty down, down, and uh, work yourself into a sweaty little frenzy, and uh, yeah, so peace out, mother.